let's see the another problem on binary search tree that is finding the common least common ancestor in a binary tree like consider this this is not a binary search tree it is a binary tree only so we can't use the property which we used in the last video to like find out whether we have to go on to the left hand side or on to the left, uh, right hand side based on the values problem statement is like this given a binary tree and two integers two values let's say a and b find least common ancestor so if this is tree so the least common ancestor in this tree of 4 and let's say 7 will be 6. For the definition of least common ancestor, please watch the last video where we solve the problem of finding least common ancestor in a binary search tree. Here what we have to do is, we can't rely on the property of a binary search tree. So what we will do is like, we will first find out the node, one of the node, find one of the node, 4 or 7 in this case. and just return that node right so we'll just figure out that 4 is this node we'll return it to the its parent and we'll return 7 as to this parent and this will return to 6 so the pointer let's say this is ptr1 and this is ptr2 so this will get that my one node is ptr1 2 sorry and the other node is ptr1 and both of them are on different sides of 6 then I am the LCA so it will return itself as a LCA we can look successively onto the left hand side and right hand side so at 10 what we will do is like we will find out we will start traversing on this side looking for 7 we will not find anything on this side so at 10 we will we'll find out null same thing we will apply at 6 we will find 4 onto the left hand side and 7 onto the right hand side so we'll find that 4 is found onto the left hand side of 6 so we'll get 1 and 7 is found onto the right hand side of 6 so we'll 6 will get some pointer here so l will be true that we have found something on the left hand side and r will also be true that means we have found something onto the right hand side if both of them are true then our root the pointer under consideration in this case 6 is our LCA. Let's say there is something called as like this. What we did was and we are finding uh, LCA of 3 comma 4. In this case R will again be false but L will be true. So whatever is written right will be the LCA. The LCA will be true right. In this case LCA sorry uh, L will be written and that will be the uh, LCA of 3 comma 4. Let's say I have another node here. Uh, I have 12 here and I want to find out the ancestor of 9 comma 12. What will I do? At 6 my L will return false because both the nodes are not on the right hand side. So I will not find any node here and R will return me true and the node pointer will be written as 9. So 9 will be my least common ancestor of 9 comma 12. So you are getting point right when one node is on the left hand side and another on the right hand side the root is the LCA if we find both the nodes on the left hand side then the one which is written first is our LCA of both the nodes and if both the nodes are onto the right hand side then the one which is written first is our LCA so let's consolidate the algorithm first step look for both the nodes if we find let's say this is called as l this is called as r if we find l and r both that means one is on the right hand side one is on the left hand side return the node which we are where we started this thing if l is true that means both the nodes are onto the left hand side and r is false right so we'll just return fourth is if only r is true then we'll return R because both the nodes are on to the right hand side of that node when would this terminate because if both the we are returning from subtrees right so when when it would be terminated it will be terminated when our root under consideration value is equals to one of the value we are searching that node that means we have found one node and the first node we have encountered on any side of the tree is the LC of both the nodes and if both the nodes are encountered on the different side of the node root 
then the root will be the LCA. So let's code it. After algorithm coding is very simple. Integer LCA put star root int a if root is null return minus one. Nothing has to be returned. Oh sorry, return null. And we will be returning node star. We will be returning pointer. If root value is equals to equals to a or root value is equals to equals to b. That means th this is the termination condition. We, whatever root we are examining is equals to one of the roots we are uh, nodes we are finding. So we'll just return. Now we'll find onto the left hand side and we'll find onto the right hand side, right? So let's say we have node star l equals to lca. What we'll do? We'll find onto the left hand side and we'll pass value as a comma b. Again, same thing we'll do for the right hand side. Now those conditions if L and R that means both the one node has been found onto the L left hand side and another on the right hand side we will just return root if this con this condition is not true then this one of these condition will be true that means both of them are found onto the left hand side then we will return L if both of them are found onto the right hand side we will return R that's all this is the code for finding least common ancestor in a binary tree. Thank you very much for watching.